Conversion tracking is the single most important part of running ads. So if you're running ads in 2025, you need to make sure that you have the right conversion tracking. This is what's gonna make your campaigns or break your campaigns. It's basically the difference between being able to scale and actually get profit from running ads versus burning through cash because you can't really identify what's working and what is not. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up conversion tracking for lead submissions using Google Tag Manager. There are different ways that advertisers track conversions for lead forms, but I will tell you the best way or the cleanest way, the way that I recommend is to do it through a thank you page. The thing is that sometimes businesses use clicks like clicking on a button as a conversion. That is wrong. That's not the best way to do it because just because someone click on a button does not mean that was an actual conversion, that someone actually submitted a lead. Best way to make sure that you are actually tracking the true conversion, the actual submission, is using a thank you page. In this video, we are gonna walk you through step-by-step step of how to do that. To get started, the first thing that we wanna do is open our Google Ads account, head to goals, summary, and then click on create conversion action. We're gonna to have to scan our website. This is something that Google does because it wants to create events for you, but we're gonna click add a conversion action manually. We are going to select submit lead form, and then we can actually name our lead form. So I'm going to put YouTube lead form submission. You can name it anything that you want. We then have to choose a value. Now, if you are an e-commerce brand, you will have a specific value for each one of the purchases. So you would actually select here a value. But because this is a lead form, I'm actually going to go with one. Now we have to select how many conversions to count per click or interaction. If you are an e-commerce brand and you are trying to generate sales, tracking every single conversion is important. But if you are generating leads like we are in this case, we are actually going to go with one and this is actually what Google recommends. You don't wanna be counting multiple times when one single person submits the form. Then for attribution, we actually have two options, last click or data driven, but I do recommend that you stay with the data driven attribution. We are going to select done, and now we're gonna select save and continue. The next thing that we have to do is select how we want to set up this conversion. Now this is a test account, I don't have the Google Tag set up, you can actually email the instructions to your webmaster or your developer, but we are going to go with use Google Tag Manager. The next step is to add a conversion linker tag and configure it so it fires on all pages. Now, this is a one-time step you're going to complete if you wanna be tracking conversions from Google Ads. And basically, the conversion linker tag are used to help tags measure clicks data so that conversions are measured effectively. It's a one-time setup, it's super easy, I'm gonna walk you through it. And that's what we're gonna do first before we actually finish setting up or conversion in the thank you page. Now we're gonna to head to Google Tag Manager. I do have already an account for Power Your Ads, so if you have your account, make sure that you skip this section and go to the next one where I will show you how to create your conversion tracking. But if you don't have a Google Tag Manager account, stick with me because I'm gonna show you very quickly how to create one from scratch and how to add the tags to your landing page using a test landing page. So you're gonna to go to create account. You can name it, you know, your company. I'm gonna actually use just a, like test.com. Then I have to choose what type of platform I want to track. So in this case, I'm gonna select web because I do want to track activities in my website and I'm gonna click create. So you're going to have to accept that and then say yes. And that's all you have to do to create your account. Now, the next thing that we're gonna to have to do is add this code into the website. So I don't, my website already has a DTM tag, so I'm not gonna add it there, but I'm gonna show you in a different test landing page so that you, how simple it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is click here, copy. Here I have a test landing page. So I would go to JavaScript code, add new script. I'm going to name this Google Tag Manager. And then I want to make sure that I put the head and I put both because I would want to have this GTM in all my pages and I'm going to paste it there. So super simple. 
Now, it doesn't really matter what type of a website builder you have, even if it's custom code. It's a very simple, all of the builders have this JavaScript code area where you can set up your tags. We then are going to go back to the Google Tag Manager that we just created, and we are going to copy the body tag and paste it in that test URL. Now we're going to add new script. We are going to put bottom both pages again, and then this is going to basically say same thing. And this way we're going to add that Google Tag Manager to our page. Now that you set up your Google Tag Manager into your website, you could actually do a test. I always recommend to make sure that everything is firing. There are different ways that you can go about it. You could use the Google Tag Manager Assistant companions. And now we already have installed in here our Google Tag Manager. Now, of course, we have to still go back to the Google Tag Manager, submit our container, and finish the setup there. In this video, I'm not gonna go in depth into that, but if you're interested in learning more, make sure that you subscribe. I'm happy to create a different video that walks you step-by-step step how to do that. Now that we are here in the account, the first thing that I'm gonna do is create my Google conversion linker. I already have it set up, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. It's very simple. We're gonna go and click conversion linker, and you have to only do this one time, so I can just label conversion. Ah conversion linker, and then we want to make sure that it basically triggers in all pages, and then we'll click save. Now, I already have it set up, so I don't have to do it again, but if you're doing it for the first time, that's what you would do. Now that we have that set up, we are going to create the conversion tracking for our thank you page. So we are going to go to new, Google Ads conversion tracking, and here's where we're going to need some information that we're going to take from Google. I will click my new conversion, use Google Tag Manager, and here I have the conversion ID and the conversion label. I don't need to do anything else. I'm going to go here. Next, we're gonna click the plus sign and trigger configuration, page view, some pages view, page path contains, and I'm going to paste, which you're not gonna be able to see, but my thank you page URL. Now I'm going to name my tag. So I'm gonna use the same name as I did in, I'm gonna use the same name that I did in Google Ads, and I'm just gonna add here Google Ads, and I can see a spelling issue. There we go. And I'll click save. As a recap is that we basically have our tag configuration. This is the name that I have also on Google Ads. It's not that I had some spelling issues, but we know that this is the one that I had. Here we have already the conversion ID. We have the conversion label, and it's going to fire when we are in the thank you page, which is super important because that's what makes this the best setup. Now that we have this, I'm going to basically click submit, and I'm going to publish this change. The next thing that I can do is actually test. Now it's connecting. Here is the page. And as you can see, the bank is on. So that means this should have a fire. I'm going to click finished. And it's going to show me which are the events that fire. And as you can see, Google Ads YouTube Leap Form fire. Now this information is actually going to be fed back to Google Ads. In this video, I show you how to easily set up conversion tracking for your lead form submissions using Google Tag Manager. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit subscribe to get notified when my next video comes out.